guys, the Iron Chelsea here and welcome back to my new LEGO Marvel 2024 news video. And today I'm going to show you guys the official set images for the brand new LEGO Marvel Avengers Helicarrier 18 Plus set. This is set 76295, 8H is 18 plus, it has 509 pieces and no minifigures. And this set will come out in stores next month on August 1st, 2024. And this will retail for $80 here in North America and around the world. So here we have the official images for this set right here since this set has been officially revealed since yesterday. So now we have the official pictures of it since this is one of the August sets that is going to release next month right here. This is like the final one for that wave right here. So now we have official pictures of it. So here we have the box right here since I love the nice artwork design of the helicarrier itself right here but all of this for $80 it's ridiculous because this has 509 pieces and it's $80 are you freaking kidding me this set could have been like a $50 or a $60 set well maybe $50 is a better fit for this set but still $80 I don't know it's just too freaking much I am not a fan of how Lego is being too greedy with their prices right here. But anyways, back for the box art, since this is an adult set, because like I said, this is an 18 plus set. We have a black backdrop right here. We have the shield logo right here, since I feel like it doesn't make any sense why they call this the Avengers Helicarrier. They could have just called it the Shield Helicarrier because there's no Avengers brandings all over the Helicarrier, since there's just shield logos right here. But anyways, I love the... Brick build stand right here. We do get like the railways for the top and bottom part for the helicarrier itself. And yeah, it looks pretty nice in my opinion. We have the side parts on the top part of the box and the top area for the left side of the image for the packaging itself on that other corner right there, as you can see, which is a good touch right there. And here's what the back of the box looks like since it shows you how big this thing is. It is 33 centimeters tall and seven inches wide right here and also 13 inches and 18 centimeters tall right here or wide but anyways we have that image on that bottom corner right here on the right side of the package right here that has a reference based off of marvel studios kids in america the winter soldier which is that final battle scene of the movie but yeah i love how they added that image right here for the set itself and we have the image of the back of the helicarrier with those engines right here and also the back of the landing pad or something like that but yeah that is a good design and we have another angled image right here of the helicarrier and the different angle for the stand right here and we have some vehicles and some of the pizza slices representing the quinjets right here but yeah, this is a really good design right here for the build itself since I totally am a fan of that. Here's the actual set itself. It is still cool in my opinion since I love how they added the shield logos on the road, well, like railroad parts right here for the top and bottom part of the helicarrier itself. And I love those little turbine pieces representing the turbines itself for the helicarrier. That looks pretty nice. And as for the stand, it is pretty good right here since it does remind me of the stands from the Brick Belt ships from Lego Star Wars right here. And we have a printed plaque that says Lego Marvel Helicarrier. So that is a good touch right here. That is 100% printed. I feel like some of those parts and pieces right here, they are officially stickers right here. Like the 64 and the shield logo and those real, real parts right there. But yeah, I totally love the nice mini skill look at the design right here it says I feel like they totally nailed the detail for the helicarrier itself since this build reminds me of one of the like cutscene parts from one of the Lego Marvel video games especially my well Lego Marvel Avengers is why I meant to say but yeah I love those chisel pieces in that translucent look for representing the glass right here and yeah that looks pretty nice so we have those like it tiny like pieces on the front part representing like the guns right there. But yeah, that looks just great. And again, I love how they use the pieces slices pieces in that dark gray color representing like one of the Quinjets right here. And we have like that sand blue 
piece right here, that piece over there that reminds me of another like shield jet that I'm going to say. And um, I also love like that orange piece representing like the crates that I'm going to say. But yeah, it's something like that. It reminds me of those orange crates right here. But yeah, at least I totally dig the detail right here in the back of the helicarrier looks nice with those brick belt engines right here that we see on the back of the box right here. It looks just nice and interesting at the exact same time. But yeah, that does look nice since Lego did a phenomenal job with this build right here. Don't get me wrong, this is a great build, but for 80 freaking dollars, are you kidding me? Since like I said earlier, this is the last time I'm gonna say this, this set has 509 pieces and I feel like $80 doesn't make any freaking sense for God's sake. I mean, again, I'm still not a fan how Lego is really greedy with their prices because I feel like they've taken it too far right here, which is so annoying in my opinion. I mean, they could just like made this up like a $50 or a $60 set. Well, actually, $50 is not so bad to me in my opinion because I feel like that could be a better fit than $80 right here. But I am planning on getting this right here because I used to have the 2020 Helicarrier right here since I feel like that is set is like a hundred and twenty dollars i'm gonna say yeah that's the set that i got for christmas back in 2020 while i was 17 years old that set had a lot of minifigures and a couple of builds right here especially the main build which is the helicarrier itself for 120 dollars but this for 180 dollars are you kidding me this is this is ridiculous right here and what a bit cool they added in exclusive minifigure to the set yeah it would be nice if lego put an exclusive minifigure into the set maybe like a different version of nick fury or bring phil colson back in this set because it's been a while since we've gotten a phil colson minifigure since in 2017 that detroit steel set so it would be nice if they brought him back and put him in this set right here that would have been Awesome in my opinion. Well, I know these sets usually don't come with minifigures because this is just a display piece right here. But still, it would have been cool if they brought Phil back right here in this set. That would have been so interesting to me in my opinion. Everyone would love that right here. So, yeah, this is a good design right here. Since I still have the propeller pieces right here representing like those thrusters right here. And the stand is still good right here with that printed plaque. And yeah, some of the road parts are 100% stickers right here, especially that 64 right here on that bottom angle corner of the helicarrier itself. But yeah, I am going to get this still, but still wish this set wasn't $80 in my opinion. I mean, Lego needs to stop being so greedy with their prices right here. They could just make like another price that makes a lot of sense because like I said, $80 doesn't make any freaking sense in my opinion. They could just like change it to something that does make a lot of sense right here. But I'm looking forward to getting this right here since I used to have the 2020 version that $120 set back in, well, like I said, back in 2020 when I was 17 years old that I got for Christmas. But unfortunately, I no longer have it because I threw it away because of spring cleaning right here. So I am going to get this set right here to add in my collection but i am going to review it too once i already finish building this set and once i have in hand well once i have a hand in building it but yeah this is a pretty nice set for adults like me but i still wish it wasn't overpriced right here but anyways that is it this is the official set images for the new mini scale helicarrier carrier set that is going to release next month right here but also you can't pre-order this set at Lego Shop at Home if you want to. Since if you guys don't want to wait for so long for this set to come out, you can't pre-order this at Lego Shop at Home. But I know we have one month until these sets release in store since we're in July right now. But still, if you want to, you can't pre-order this set at Lego Shop at Home if you want to. If you guys are not comfortable waiting for so dang long. But yeah, this is a pretty nice set since I love the nice detailing for the engines and all that type of stuff for the builds right here. And even the little mini builds for like the Quinjets and 
the shield jet itself. But yeah, this is a really nice display set right here for adults like me, and it is pretty awesome right here. So I don't have anything else to say about this set, but that is all I've gone so far right here. So that is it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell, the same button. And don't forget to Hulk smash that comment section down below. And tell me in the comments what you guys think about this set for the lineup. I'll see you later. I'll you.